we reached out to you and asked, can you help us by systematically pulling some of this additional data that we don't have access to? And uh, I don't know if you remember, Alex, you just went that in a matter of like a day, you wrote a bunch of code and then you connected the, you know, pull all the data we needed and came back and say, here's what you needed, right? So that was just, honestly, it was like, you don't get these things anywhere else. Hi, I'm, I'm here with uh, Oda Mayer from Stockcard. My name is Alex. I'm the founder of Index One. Uh, we've recently partnered on a new initiative in the indexing space. And uh, I'd like to yeah, talk to you a bit about what we've done and uh, how things have progressed and what, what our next steps are going to be. Let me kick off with a short introduction to, to Index One. So uh, I'm Alex, the founder of the company. We're an indexing platform which allows for the creation, distribution, backtesting, and design of customized indices. Um, so that includes sort of generic market tracker indices, uh, systematic strategies, thematic indices uh, for use in, in benchmarking and investment products. So Hoda, could you Maybe give you, give me a bit of an intro to yourself and and your company. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, Alex, for for having me. Um, my name is Hoda Mer. I'm founder and CEO of Stockcard. In the core of Stockcard platform, our mission is to enable everyday investors, individual investors, to invest better and become the best asset managers for their own portfolios. And so we're all about enabling retail investors to make better investment decisions. And as a part of that process, we partner with top creators, YouTubers, Twitter personalities, who retail investors trust and follow when it comes to making investment decisions. And as a part of this partnership, we give these creators tools to scale their, their, their content and monetize it and engage their community uh, better. And then um, that's why we're here and that's why we launched the initiative with, uh, with Alex which we're gonna, and his team, which we're going to get into uh, in a second. So, uh, yeah, we, we, we launched an index together based on one of your, your creator's strategies. So um, could you maybe tell, tell me a bit about first the issues you encountered in the sort of initial steps of when you wanted to build an index series, um, what were the major challenges you detected and um, how did you, you know, end up proceeding? Yeah. So the, the, one of the things we want to do, as I said a second ago, is that to bring transparency and comparability of different creators in an easy to understand and easy way for their followers, right? And so if you're following one YouTuber who is, has a very risky and very aggressive investment strategy and you have another YouTuber or Twitter personality that you follow that has a very value-driven investment strategy, uh, these are very different YouTubers or different strategies that they could both fit into an retail investor's uh, portfolio. Uh, so we wanted to uh, launch an index for each of these strategies. So bringing clear transparency, clarity and transparency to the followers who are following these creators in order to really understand what their strategy is, how has it been uh, performing and uh, how does it compare to the market? And obviously this would allow these creators to build the credibility in the market and also to, to get, get their, their followers and their community pretty excited about their strategy and there would be potential for doing a lot more in the future, right? Maybe even like to launch a fund for these indexes and strategies for the ones that are successful and their community want to invest in. So that's really what we wanted to do at the beginning. And, and we reached out to several index providers, um, some of the bigger ones in the industry, of course. And um, one of the immediate things I've realized after conversation with many of them is that they're not set up for these sort of experimental and fast paced decision making for a fintech startup like ours, right? We want to, to launch hundreds 
and thousands of indexes, right? And when when we when we're talking about hundreds and thousands of indexes in our platform, because there's hundreds and thousands of creators out there that potentially would want to have an index with us. And so that's the number one problem. When I talk to some of the bigger, like, sort of like existing um, uh, long time players in the market, was that they're not built for this way of uh, thinking about launching indexes. They're not. Uh, they had a, like the, the time to launch an index would be very long, and uh, the interaction with them would take every email would take so much time to answer. But also, it wouldn't. It would just didn't make sense from a cost point of view and from operational point of view to be able to launch like hundreds and thousands of indexes for the existing players. So that was our before I find you guys, Alex. Um, yeah, I was basically just worried about how can we just do this at a scale? How can we have thousands of indexes on our platform and it doesn't take us 10 years uh, to do that? That was the biggest um, problem. How do we scale and how do we do this at, at, at the scale we want to be able to do it? Yeah, that's that's uh, you know one of the main things I, I hear you know around the industry as well. And one of the core reasons we, we started uh, doing what we're doing is uh, there there really aren't feasible solutions to, to issues like this out there. More specifically about this initial index that we've we've created. So uh, could you talk a bit about this index in particular, uh, briefly about the, the strategy and you know how we went about doing it? Yes, this index is called Bowtie uh, Index. And Bowtie Index goes and is built by uh, uh, Joseph Hogue, who is the creator behind Let's Talk Money YouTube channel. He has about 600,000 followers on YouTube. And he has a very tight-knit community. They all like to wear bow ties. <laughs> that's, that's sort of his, 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 uh, his um, sort of brand, always wearing a very neat bow, bow tie. And that's when index is called Botai, but at a core, it's a very serious investment strategy, actually. It is a very uh, value-driven and um, almost a, um, a in inactive or semi-active strategy. And the focus is to look at the top uh, 500 uh, list of the stops in, in, in the United States, and not all of those top 500 are really good companies, right? Just because their market cap allowed them to be in that top 500 doesn't make them necessarily the best company to invest right now. So it's basically cherry picking companies out of that top 500 universe who actually, from a point of view of um, a series of quantitative and qualitative um, uh, criteria uh, are good investment. And uh, this criteria of qualitative and quantitative are uh, basically um, clear and transparent. And Joseph Hope, who is who's the, who's the man behind it, as I told you, have, have really clarified what those, those quantitative and qualitative metrics are or factors are. They include things like competitive advantage, mode, um, uh, positioning in the market, leadership quality and things like that on the qualitative side. And then on the quantitative side, it's about um, whether a company has been able to expand its earning power um, compared to its history or compared to the average of the uh, sector or industry it belongs to. So it's a combination of those qualitative and um, quantitative factors that allows this index to basically cherry pick the best companies to invest now out of the 500 uh, universe. And then at the end, it's just to reduce, to really still invest in various stable companies by the nature of them being part of the 500 universe, but I still find alpha uh, in, that, in that universe. It's, it, it's really designed for that retail community who don't want to go after very gross you know, strategies, but really want to invest in stable companies, but they're all also want to generate alpha. Yeah, yeah, that makes, I mean, that's aligned with, with my understanding as well. And we've, we've had a lot of fun, you know, setting up this, this index and, uh, yeah, following a very sophisticated strategy in my view. If we, we take a bit of a step, step back, you know, in terms of um, the, the challenges um, in ideating and creating this index, uh, what, 
how do you think you know our tools index one solutions has helped you you know get this thing off the ground and um get things get things moving yeah, I think uh, at the ideation, so at, at that st stage when we were still working with Joseph Hogan in order to solidify his strategy, you guys came in and helped us with this ability to test and experiment with different different strategies, right? So we had at the beginning, we had set up criteria that we had, and then we came in, we used your your, your platform, and then we started back testing it, and we didn't really like the results. So so the book went back, we went back and forth, had a conversation about um, what would make sense in order to make sure uh, the strategy is tight and solid. And I think that's one of the things I was alluding at the beginning with any other index provider, we didn't have that, that scale. Like we would have had to spend on our strategy and then like wait for 10 days, do they come back with a back testing the result? And then maybe we would send them an email and then ask for like modifications. And all these things would take time and also would be drastically more expensive <laughs> to be able to do that. So for us, even at that ideation stage, the independence of, of your platform, sort of like do it yourself, because when you're ideating, obviously you want to be able to fast move, change this, change that, change that. Uh, and so that's really good. We were able to do that. And then also we reached out to you and asked, can you help us by systematically pulling some of this additional data that we don't have access to and uh, I don't know if you remember Alex you just went in a matter of like a day you wrote much code and then you connected the you know pull all the data we needed and came back and say here's what you needed right so that was just honestly it was like you don't get these things anywhere else and when it comes to back testing and ideating and the speed of like figuring out how things are and uh, sort of that nimble um, nimble, uh, nimbleness of being able to find your final like solidified strategy. So that was an ideation stage. It was really helped us finalize and fine tune and kind of like decide uh, what are the what are the factors that we want to put into the strategy. Perfect. Yeah. Thanks. And uh, yeah, you know, it's been you know been a pleasure you know working on this and um, yeah. Nice to hear that that uh, the solution has has worked worked well for this. In terms of you know looking forward, you know your business and and this index, you know specifically, where do you see see things going in the next next few years?